Hey guys, Tez here, and this is the first ever time that I have ever played this brand new map on Modern Warfare 3. It's called Liberation, and I'm going to give you my kind of opinion on it and how I think it should be played. Not really how you should go out and play it, but kind of how it, it played out to me. And I'm going to start off by saying I fast forward this first part because I must have run around the map and I just could not find anybody, so there's no point in you, in you watching that. So, this map, Liberation, what do I think of it? Uh, I don't like it. I, I just really don't like this map. Um, there's a few reasons for that. Uh, the first is because of the color of it. If you look, it's it's autumn uh, in, the, in the park, wherever we are in America. It's autumn, the leaves are on the floor, and it's orange. It's very orange. The map is kind of a, an autumny color, and unfortunately, it makes it very, very hard to spot people. Uh, I run around and I just could not find anybody. This may be because, uh, like I said, it's the first time I played it. It might be a brand new map for, for some other people in the lobby. They might not have played it themselves before. So that they might camp a bit more. But it's very orange and I don't like it because it's hard to spot people. Uh, you'll find that I go on certain parts out this game where I just cannot see people. And... I don't know, that just doesn't feel right to me. I think a Call of Duty map needs to be fast paced, you need to be able to find people pretty quickly. And I mean, I can play other maps well, uh, all the maps are, that were released before. It's really easy to find people, to spot people and get on target quick. But this, it seems to be quite a big map anyway. So a big map, cup, a big Mac? No, a big map coupled with the fact that it's quite hard to see people means that the, the gameplay is a bit slow and it's going to be kind of a difficult map for me to play and I, j I just really don't like it for that reason. Um, there's another reason why I don't really like the map at the moment is because it's so big. Um, you'll see later on that I'm on this half at the moment now and I kind of stick here for a minute or two but it's huge this map. I think it must be one of the bigger maps in Modern Warfare 3 and I kind of prefer the, the small to medium sized maps because there's always going to be action all the time. Whereas on these bigger maps, people don't know the high traffic spots yet or people don't really know where the action is going to go down. So the gameplay is really slow and for someone like me, if the game is slow, it's extremely boring and a very tedious game to play. But what do I think of the other map? I don't know because I haven't played a full game on that yet and I'll be bringing out another commentary pretty damn soon with the gameplay of the other new map which is called Piazza I think and you can see or you'll hear my my first impressions on that map pretty soon but tips I'm gonna give on this map is definitely you wanna be running around with an assault rifle um, or an assault rifle or a, a, a submachine gun that you can you can get kills with at a distance because you can see here that I keep running into people that are, are really close to me that are coming back for revenge kills. But when I move around the map, you don't really get into close quarter battles with anybody because it's a little bit of a wide open space. It's like right here, there's just open space and I pick off one person and maybe a second, I don't know. But there's a couple people that I find that are quite far away away. Now, this map will cater towards assault rifles and the submachine guns that you can shoot long distance like the MP7. But definitely stay away from like shotguns and things like that because you, you really won't be able to, to do that well on this map. Or at least if you do, you're really good. But I know for a fact that I wouldn't be able to get half a decent score with a shotgun on this game or on this map. I mean. But what do I think of Kill Confirmed on this map? Kill Confirmed is alright because... Um, the, the people are coming to pick up the tokens. I did play or I did jump into a domination game afterwards and that was really difficult for me to play. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I learned the map pretty quick. I'm pretty certain that I know my way around this map already and I've played it twice maybe. But the domination flags add a whole nother perspective to it because people will be camping the, the flags, people will be guarding the points where you can have lines of sight onto the flags. So the game's still very slow, even in objective games like Domination. Uh, at the moment, there are quite a few campers. I got lucky here. I was playing against some people that were rushing around and a couple of snipers. So the only campers I had to worry about were the snipers sitting in the bushes 
which you'll see in a minute. Uh, there's a sniper right next to me, I think, and I have no idea where he is. I just cannot see him to save my life. But once you kind of get this map down, I think it will probably pick up in speed. Whether I like it or not, when it gets to that point, I don't know. I think Piazza is going to be my preferred map out of the two. Although I didn't really like Piazza much from what I've seen and the the half a map I played earlier. There's a there's a lot of stairs and levels, and that kind of makes makes it hard to uh, to play well. Uh, at least I think so. At the moment, I am not really a fan of these new maps. Uh, I guess I'll just have to play it some more, and then I'll. Uh, I'll be able to review my opinion and hopefully it will change and hopefully I like it and hopefully it will add something new to Modern Warfare 3 and it will keep it fresh for a bit longer. But I'm hoping Infinity Ward are going to come out with new uh, game modes. They took it from the community for Drop Zone and they haven't really done anything apart from Drop Zone that I'm aware of and I haven't really heard any news about any new game modes that are in the, in the mix I guess. But hopefully they'll they'll bring out some new game modes and then, I don't know, Modern Warfare 3 seems like it can last longer because they're releasing content. I know for the elite members, we get uh, a bit of content every single month for 9 months. And obviously these two maps are this first month of the 9 and then next month we might get new guns, we might get new maps or even new titles and emblems, I don't really know. But hopefully we'll get something that will keep the game fresh and new, like I said before. Uh, this game is slowly coming to an end. You'll notice how uh, the the, t the timer is ticking down and we've still got quite a way before the game finishes. I think we have to capture another 23 little tag things and we've only got 3 minutes to go. But we do end up winning. Um, my final score isn't anything great. It's 30 kills and 10 deaths. Uh, I think I wanted to get this video out before... Uh, I got. I spent more time playing it to to get a good game. I thought you guys wanted to see uh, what the new maps are like. Like maybe if you're, I don't know, at school or at work or I really don't know. But if you if you can get on YouTube and you're bored and you want to think, oh, I wonder what the new maps are like. Then I want to get this video out for you. I still want it to be good quality, which is why I uh, have recorded and done the usual things with my video as far as editing goes, with color correction and stuff. So the game looks good. The commentary, hopefully that's alright. The sound quality of my mic, as I fixed in the last video, is, is pretty half decent now. And this is the sniper I can't see at all. And then I suddenly see him, a darker shaded ghillie suit in a bush. And I kill him. But hopefully you will have enjoyed this game. It's uh, got a little way to go, but I think I'm going to end the commentary here. And hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. And if you could definitely leave me a comment on... Ways I can improve, I know this commentary is probably not perfect, and if you just give me your opinions on how I can improve it, then, then that will be greatly appreciated. And then down the line I'll be able to improve those things, and hopefully you'll enjoy the commentaries and the videos more. Uh, also, like the video, it does help, a lot of people say that, but it does help. And if you also subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to see new video of the Piazza map. I'll be getting gameplay of that shortly, I think I'm going to hop on in a second and see if I can get a, a gameplay on that. And I'll record it and do the, the commentary over it and either upload it later on tonight or upload it tomorrow during the day. So if you hit subscribe then you'll be alerted or, or aware of any new videos I upload. As well as the, the Moabs with every gun that I'm going to be starting uploading tomorrow I believe. So thanks for watching guys. I'm going to let the rest of the game play out. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you next time.